Marshall fan are gonna cook me after this video. Marshall and Wistoria are both animes where the protagonist is magicless in a magic society. And I have two strong reasons why I think this is way better than this. Let's get twerking. Marshall and Will Seffort have a lot in common. They are both magicless in a magic society, virgins, and yeah. Yeah, that's about it. Now, the main thing that makes Will Seffert better than MASH is how he feels more human and relatable. Now, I know these guys are so strong they can crush me with their farts. So, why am I saying Seffert is much more relatable than MASH? Well, firstly, MASH is shown to be a very nonchalant character who trains and eats cream puffs all day. He's an outcast who lives in the forest with his grandpa because he has no magic. And that's not inherently bad for a main character because the anime is a comedy and his personality makes for comedic moments that make me go... <laughs> But the problem is his whole character is not very relatable. At the beginning of Wistoria Wonder and Magic, we are shown that Will Surfort is a magicless weeb who attends a magic school and is bullied on a daily basis. This first introduction to the character makes him much more relatable because most people are bullied or made fun in school for things they cannot do. Now, even if you weren't bullied in school, you still feel for this character, creating a very strong connection between the audience and the main character. Mash is robbed from this opportunity because he is not raised in a society that looks down on him. Instead, he was raised in a random forest with his grandpa, away from any kind of human civilization. Now, this really takes away from the relatability, making the character less interesting and sometimes forgettable. So, the only thing connecting the audience with MASH is basically how funny and entertaining he is, which is good for a comedy. But Will Surfort leaves a more lasting impression on the audience, making us instantly think of him when we face a situation similar to his. The only time you're gonna think of MASH is when you see a fat person consuming a cream puff. Personally, I think the mangaka could have fixed this problem by giving MASH a human emotion like loneliness. If there were scenes in the first episode showing MASH feeling lonely or depressed for being cut out from society, I think it would have made the character more human and relatable to the audience. Well, Surfort and MASH have a similar goal. They both want to reach the highest rank in their magic society without any magic. What bothers me the most is how Marshall's goal feels more shallow and lacking. The anime is leading to Marshall being titled the Divine Visionary because a dumbass cop he almost killed somehow convinced him to enroll in the school and claim a title he doesn't even want so that the cop he almost killed can have royalties and prestige. At this point, I just think the cop should be the main character. The saving factor of his goal is that is trying to protect his father from the cops because it's illegal to raise a magical skill. The only problem is if he silenced that dumbass cop, he could have easily have achieved this goal and the anime would have been over. The mangaka could have easily have fixed this if he let the main character show genuine interest for becoming a divine vaginationary. But he somehow managed to write every human emotion away from this character, making his goal much more shallow and uninteresting. And the sad part is how throughout the first season, it seems that Marshall even forgot about his goals. He's just going around doing crazy shit in the school and that's how the anime is about at that point. Now compare this to the amazing lovely story of Wistoria Wand and Sword. This anime is leading up to a magicless boy trying to attain the highest rank in a magic society because he wants to be alongside the love of his life. There's an interesting plot point I didn't mention because I don't want to ruin this anime for you. It's really good. But what makes his goals better than my show is how much the audience is shown how he cares and wants to achieve his goal from the very beginning of the anime you are already rooting for him to achieve his goal and there's a relatability element that makes you even more invested to see how his goals plays out all of this interesting plot beats are missing from Marshall because first of all his father is safe and is roaming around with the cop who is taking advantage of them and trying to destroy their life freely without any consequence imagine how interesting the anime could have been if his father was arrested or was in some kind of danger further pushing Marshall to achieve his goal and making the audience much more invested. But at the end of the day, Marshall is a comedy and I think it got that aspect very very well done. But if you want a really really better alternative to Marshall then please give Wistoria, Wand and Sword a good watch. Although that's not the only good anime that released this season. Check out my video on Terminator Zero to discover your favorite new anime.